there you go. Combine 101. Okay, while I have this thing apart, let me try to explain how everything works. Uh, since you can see this thing um, a whole lot better, I'll try to do it without being too wordy or too technical. So uh, let's get started here. All right, so this, this is the feeder house. This is where the header attaches to the, com uh, to the combine. So the header is on the front of here. It's gonna cut, it's gonna cut the vines and the stalks off. And then that header is going to shove it here into the feeder house. From there, as I said in another video, this is the drag chain. It's going to drag it up through the feeder house. So all of that crop that has just been cut is drug up through the feeder house. From there, <clears throat> it goes in here to the cylinder and the concave. So I've talked about adjusting the distance between the concave and the cylinder. So the concave is back back underneath of this cylinder. You see this um, piece of steel here with all these uh, metal bars going through it. This stays stationary, the concave. This cylinder is going to spin really fast. Uh, for soybeans, I think I've got it at about 450 RPM. So what it's gonna do, it's going to take these stalks of soybeans in between here, between the cylinder and the concave. That concave, I said, stays stationary other than I can adjust the difference between the cylinder and the concave. So right now, as you can see, I've got it open about that much for soybeans. We would open it, meaning drop that concave down a little bit more for corn and for wheat, we would close it up a little bit tighter. So we have an adjustment there we can make. So it pulls the crop in. And while it's doing that, with, with these bars on here, what are called rasp bars, they go in different directions here. It is taking this and opening, now these pods are not gonna open easily today because it's wet, but it is taking these and, and taking the pods off of the stalk, opening the pods up so you get the soybean out of there. The soybean then falls down in between this grate of this concave. So the soybeans and some of the pods will fall down uh, like that. The stalks continue going up through the concave and then you saw where I unplugged this machine earlier. They go up through the concave, behind the concave is another um, turning uh, wheel, what we call a beater. that drags the stem what's what's left of this uh, basically the stem is left it's going up through there and thrown onto the straw walkers okay the straw walkers uh, in this machine i've got uh let's let's go further back In this machine, I have four straw walkers. These things are on this, uh, this arm, as you can see, which is not straight. These straw walkers go up and down, and as they're going up and down, they're moving back, so uh, like this. So it's walking all of those sticks and stems towards the back of the machine. We do not need those anymore. You saw me laying on top of those straw walkers a couple of videos ago when I was unplugging the machine. So it, it's designed to walk these stems back and then from there they drop down into the straw chopper and from there that straw chopper has a bunch of blades on it and it is chopping the stems up. You see some fixed blades there uh, towards the front and then these blades here. Chops it up and then throws that out of the back. 
Okay, back to what happens to the soybeans and the pods. So this is on the back side of the cylinder in the concave. So you can see these openings here. The soybeans and the pods then drop into these augers. These augers, you can see uh, some soybeans in here. These augers then move the soybeans and the pods onto the screen. We have a couple of different sets of screens on here. This first set of screens is mainly for corn, so we keep those closed. So these soybeans then are moved to the back. This, this whole screen is shaking and moving these soybeans. So as, as you can hear, as these soybeans move to the back, some of them will drop uh, down between these holes. So these soybeans are ready. When they drop through those holes, they're going right into the grain tank. But from here, sometimes we've got pods and soybeans. They're going back to the next set of screens on the back side. We've got a fan here that is turning and blowing air up under those screens. So there's a place there for air to go and a place down here. So this fan is moving a thousand RPMs, blowing air under these screens to blow the trash, anything that is light, any of the pods that are already empty, any of the stems or sticks that got through that is light, blowing air through the screens to blow out of the back of the machine. Okay, so further back, there's the screen I was just talking about on the front. These pods, so if there are still beans, if these pods have not been opened up from the concave in the cylinder, they're going to come back here to this screen. We're going to open this screen wide enough so these pods can drop through because they need to go back through the machine to get a second chance to open them up. Underneath of this screen is another screen that we close up only enough to allow the soybeans to go in. So any pods that still have soybeans drop through that screen. Then they're gonna sit on top of the screen underneath of here, if it's still a full pod with soybeans, come to an auger that you can't really see here. This auger is gonna take the soybeans out that way. They're going to come across here. We've got a paddle. We've got a paddle elevator here, a chain with with rubber paddles on it, that is going to take those pods back up here and dump them right here with another auger coming across. Dump those soybeans back into the cylinder so they get a second chance to open those pods up. All right. Now, so if we take a handful of soybeans here, when soybeans get here, they're gonna drop through there with no problem. And then the screen down underneath of there, we have open enough wet that all of the clean soybeans will then drop into that screen. These screens are shaken back and forth. So they're shaking to, to drop, to get everything, all of the clean soybeans down between them. Air is blowing up. So pods like this, where there's nothing in them and they're light enough, air is blowing up through these screens and blowing this out of the combine. They're landing on here. This thing is shaking back and forth and shaking all of this stuff off. So all of the empty pods now are falling off of here onto the ground. So the clean soybeans, after they've come through here, drop through this screen, and then drop through the bottom screen, air has blown through there. At that point, we hope to only have clean soybeans if everything is adjusted properly. All the air has blown the trash out, the screens have separated the pods from the soybeans, the straw walkers have separated the pods from the sticks and the stems. So from there, all of those soybeans drop down here to the bottom. There's an auger. They drop into a trough here. There's an auger 
all right so that auger brings them over to here again we have some more paddles on a chain some rubber paddles these paddles are turning going up this chute here and into the grain tank and that's where you see them coming out uh, behind the cab uh, the soybeans coming out of that last auger falling into the grain tank from there once this grain tank engages these chains will turn there are two augers in the bottom of the grain tank this one here this one here driven by these two uh, sprockets those augers are going to bring it over to this sump so this sprocket here comes in and turns these gears and then there's an auger right here that is then taking the soybean straight up and then there's a 90 there so coming out of the bottom in another auger straight up in that 90 there's another auger that goes straight across and drops into the truck all right i hope that was simple enough and not too wordy where you understood how a how a combine now separates the grain from the stems and the trash there you go combine 101 Thank you.